even though it was a gorgeous, beautiful day, had this somber strangeness to it. Well, as soon as I found out about the, the Pentagon and the World Trade Center, I, I, I got in my car and hopped from my Maryland home into DC. And as I was entering the, the city, um, it was very eerie. Every one of the cars were backed up for miles and miles and miles, just leaving the city, a mass exodus. And I was the only car going into the city. I could see the smoke from the Pentagon as I entered, and it was very, very strange. But the traffic was not moving, so I just pulled on the side and left my car and I walked toward here. And uh, there was a lot of people coming my way, uh, people trying to leave the building. And uh, I don't think a lot of people knew exactly how bad was the damage because the, some of them seemed to be running, some of them seemed to be just walking. Everything was just very slow and deliberate and everyone knew what was going on even though it was a gorgeous beautiful day it had this somber strangeness to it yeah you just go and start pay, taking pictures and uh, but I remember at one point I, there was this guy who was his face was burned and he had a, a color in a, and I pick up the camera to take a picture and he looked at me and without even saying anything, I could tell that he didn't want me to take the picture. It was something in his face, so I just, I, I just turned around and I didn't take the picture. But you don't really know what you have until you go back and you see the film. I guess a lot of times you think you're taking a picture of something and you're actually getting something else. assigned to uh, cover the survivors from the Pentagon, the burn victims. And um, we went to the hospital and followed them for about two months in the recovery process, which was very difficult and um, also inspiring in so many ways. They had great family members and spouses who would create great love stories if you were to write a book. some moments the pain was so difficult in the recovery process of burns that they just wished they would die. And then the guilt of knowing that people who were standing one foot from them did die, and they survived, led them to constantly ask why. Like two nights after 9-11, uh, everybody was working very hard at work in uh, the office. You know? So we decided to go everybody for, for a drink and you know, talk about it. And then after everybody was ready to get into their cars in the parking lot at the Washington Post, uh, one of the photographers, Dana, she turns around and she said, things are never going to be the same. And everybody started crying. But I hope people, more than anything, remember those who are affected. And uh, if our pictures help to do that, then, then I'm glad. Oh.